Hey there, students. On this, on this clip, we're going to be going over an example, um, a related rates example. We're going to be focusing on a ladder problem, a situation where you have a ladder sliding down a wall. So let's go ahead and read the question. Uh, it says, a ladder 13 feet long is sliding down the wall. At the moment the base is 12 feet from the wall, the base of the ladder is moving, uh, five feet, moving at 5 feet per second. How fast is the top of the ladder moving at this moment? Okay? So basically we have a ladder on the wall. Um, let's say that uh, this is the wall, this is the wall right here, and then this is the ladder. So this is your ladder. And uh, this is the wall. Okay? Alright, so uh, let me give you a visual about uh, about this problem real quick just to help you see see the dynamics as to how things are happening. So here goes a representation. Uh, you have the 12, well let's, let's make the ladder uh, 30, 12 feet, so let's make it 13, 13 feet. Alright, so you have a 13 feet ladder um, resting against the wall, okay? Uh, you notice the top of the ladder is going to be moving downwards while the uh, bottom of the ladder is moving out. All right, so let me let me slide a ladder for you to sh show you the dynamic. So you see what's happening right there. So you see how the length is changing. So these two rates are related, and this keeps as this is going down. That is that is going out. All right. So the question is asking. Um, when it, when the when the bottom is 12 feet at a point that this is 12 feet at what rate is this moving at the instant in time that this is 12 feet how fast is that moving all right so that that's basically the question all right so uh, let me just put some information on this sketch i have right here so this is the ladder the ladder is um 13 feet long so right here this is 13 feet and uh let's so this is my y-axis this is the the movement of the top of the ladder, so I'm going to call that y of t, y, y of t, as a function of time. This movement is going to be downwards as the ladder slides down, okay, y of t. And then the movement of the bottom base of the ladder out, so this is my x-axis, let's just call this movement um, x of t, alright? So the movement outside is x of t. Alright, so um, with that in mind, uh, we can formulate a relationship. Like, what is the relationship between this, this, and this? This is a right triangle, right? So if you think back to geometry, we have the Pythagorean theorem. So we know this is A, and uh, let's call this A, the movement downwards, and then we can call this B, I'm sorry, the distance, from this point to this point, we can call it A, and then call that B also, all right? We're going to differentiate it in a minute to, differ to determine the movement, all right? So this is A, and this is B, those are the legs of the right triangle, so this is a right triangle, and this right here is C, okay? All right, so before I start writing the equations, let's look at the problem first and see um, if there are certain things we can tell from the problem. Uh, the ladder is 13 feet long, so we know that that's, uh, that's basically what C is. Um, it says, at the moment the base is 12 feet from the wall, so... Um, the measurement of the base is x's, right? So this point, at this point in time, we're looking at when 12 feet from the wall, that's going to be a, that's the length, which is x, okay, because it's the base. And then the base is moving at 5 feet per second. So this is the movement of the base. So the movement of the base for any time, this piece right here is dx dt, okay? It says how fast is the top moving? The movement of the top is basically dy dt. So that is what we are going to be looking for, how fast the top is moving, because that's the, move, the, the rate at which y changes dy dt. Okay? So let's see if we can relate this uh, variables, um, connect them with a formula, and then determine the related rates equation. So from the Pythagorean theorem, since we have a right triangle, we know that a square plus b square equals c square. Okay? So if you take a look at our, our illustration, a is the y, so y square. I can write y of t, but let's just write y so that it doesn't get messy, right? Plus b is x, x square equals c is a constant, okay? Because the, the the length of the ladder doesn't change while it slides, so it's going to be 13 square, all right? So that comes down to y square 
because x squared equals 169. Now, this is a uh, formula that relates to variable. Now, we're going to generate the related rate equation by differentiating implicitly with respect to time. All right? So let's differentiate y with respect to time first. We're going to use the power rule for this. So it's going to be 2y times the derivative of y dy dt plus differentiate x. You're going to have 2x dx dt. And then the derivative of 169 is 0. Okay? All right, now let's plug in what we know and then find what we need. So I stated earlier, we know that um, x, the distance of the base that we're calculating a point in time for the speed of the top is uh, x equals 12. E. And then we know that the base at that point in time was moving at 5 feet per second. So the x dt equals 5 feet per second. Uh, and then um, the, uh, um, the the distance of the top from the base, y. Y, um, I don't know what y is. I don't know how far the top is from the base, from the from the ground. And I'm asked to fi find the y dt, okay? We're looking for the y dt. So what is the y dt? So the y dt is what we're looking for. All right, so I have a problem here. I have one equation and two unknowns. That's not good. I have to, if I have one equation, I need to have only one unknown, which is dy dt. That's what I'm asked to solve. So how can we figure out what y is? Can I figure that out? Absolutely. We can use this Pythagorean relationship because it relates x and y at any point in time. All right, so we're going to use the fact that x is 12 to figure out what y is. All right, so to find y, all right, it's not here. We need to find y so we can solve for dy dt. So to find y, we're going to use y squared plus x squared equals 13 squared. This is due to the Pythagoreans, okay? So y squared remains y squared plus 12 squared equals 169. We're going to have y squared plus 144 equals 169. So we've got 144 from both sides. And then we're going to have... Um, y equals 25. y squared equals 25. If y squared equals 25, y is simply 5 feet. Okay? So the missing value that we needed to solve the y dt for the y dt is 5. So y is 5 feet. Okay? All right. Now we're good to go because we have one equation and one unknown. One equation right here and only one unknown right here. All right. Let's plug in the values. So we're going to have 2. y is 5. The y dt. That's what we're looking for, plus 2, x is 12, dx dt is 5, equals 0. All right, so plug in all the information that we know, we're going to find what we need. All right, so multiply this out, we're going to have 10 dy dt plus um, 1, um, 120 equals 0. Okay, you have 10. Subtracting uh, 120 from both sides, you have 10 dy dt equals negative 120. And then finally, just divide both sides by 10, and that will give us your answer. So divide by 10, divide by 10, and then we'll have um, dy dt equals uh, negative 12. Okay? And this is feet per second. Now, why is it negative? Well, it makes sense that it's negative because... The top of the ladder is going down as um, the base is sliding away from the wall, okay? So let's write out the meaning of this answer. Um, at the moment, at the moment, the base is um, 12 feet from the wall, 12 feet from the wall of the house from the wall, the top is, let's see how the question was worded, uh, the top of the ladder, okay, it says how fast is the top of the ladder moving, okay, the top is, the top is moving, moving down, is moving 
down down is the negative direction okay down at 12 eight per se okay so there you have it so thanks so much for watching this video uh, please feel free to subscribe uh, to my videos and then share this information with your friends uh, and like this video if you liked it. If you don't, you can uh, post a comment or, or send me an email, all right? More videos, math videos, you can find them at www.observe.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.